morning, everyone. It is Monday, May 8th. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and here are your top stories. We were actually tracking some breaking news right now in Norwich, where we've learned this morning that a police investigation is underway. Now, our crews were there overnight to see police cruisers coming and going through Mohegan Park. Norwich PD confirms with us that there is an ongoing investigation and that state police are involved. And they also stress that there is no threat to the public. So we'll be sure to bring you more information as soon as we learn more. Also happening today, DJ Hernandez, the brother of Aaron Hernandez, former Patriot, will appear in court after he was accused of throwing a brick right through a window at ESPN in Bristol. Now, police say the brick was in a bag with a handwritten note that said, quote, it's about time you all realize the effect media has on all family members. Dennis Hernandez was arrested for breach of peace. And in New London, a ceremony will be held today to honor the heroes who helped pull a man out of his car during that massive fire on the Gold Star Memorial Bridge last month. Brandon Bilo and Police Lieutenant Cornelius Rogers were two of the people who rushed to help after an oil tanker exploded. They'll be honored at the Guard Arts Theater tonight at 5. Today in Bloomfield, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal will be announcing bills to crack down on puppy mills and animal abusers. Senator Blumenthal says that he wants to increase animal abuse law enforcement, adding from 2011 to 2021, about 80 percent of animal cruelty cases in Connecticut that were either dismissed or not prosecuted. And state police are investigating a crash that killed a 22 year old man. The deadly wreck happened on 84 westbound right by exit 40 in West Hartford yesterday morning. Investigators say Luis Colon crashed into the concrete sound barrier just off of the highway and was pronounced dead on the scene. So if you have any information, if you witness the wreck, please give state police a call. Also, investigators are also working to learn what led to a deadly crash in Tolland on Merrow Road. 64-year-old Brian Flint of Ellington and 66-year-old Amanda Bowen of Coventry both died after a head-on collision. Police say that Bowen crossed over the center line and slammed right into Flint's SUV. Investigators are still trying to figure out why Bowen's car drifted into the wrong lane. And we do know that Flint was the deputy director over at a nonprofit organization called the Cornerstone Foundation. Police in Trumbull are investigating after a hiker discovered a dead body. Now, our pinpoint news tracker shows us exactly where the victim was found. It was in a wooded area just north of Churchill Road, and the hiker spotted was partially decomposed. Now, police there say that there are no obvious signs of foul play, but they are working right now to try and identify the victim as well as a cause of death. And police in Wolke continue to investigate what led to a deadly motorcycle crash. This crash happened yesterday afternoon on County Road when officers tell us a 39-year-old man who was riding a motorcycle died after he collided with a Jeep. We're still trying to get you some more information as police continue to learn what led up to that crash. So we'll be sure to keep you posted both on air and online. And two fallen Connecticut firefighters were honored during the 42nd National Firefighters Memorial Weekend. Fire Chief William Halstead of the Sandy Hook Fire and Rescue died of a heart attack last year. And Matthias Wirtz of the North Haven Fire Department also died last year of a heart attack. Both now have their names inscribed on a bronze plaque and will become a permanent part of the National Memorial for their service and sacrifices. All right, Scott, over to you. How's the weather looking? Weather's looking good. We're seeing increasing amounts of sunshine as the morning wears on. 704. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Let's take a look at the radar. I have it on a loop, a uh, six hour loop, so you can see some of the rain that made its way through the overnight period. You can see it. Here it comes. Get ready. Uh, it is going to start right about now. There we go. So there's some moderate rain that came down. We picked up anywhere from a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain in parts of the state. It was a beneficial rain, came while most of us are sleeping, and now we've got some beautiful skyline shots for you. Old Saybrook, the clouds are starting to break up. They've already broken up in Hartford. 59 amazing degrees at this hour. Whoa, that's incredible. Typical overnight low is about 46. Stores, good morning to you. Bright golden sunshine there. Bright golden sunshine at Windsor Locks, 57 degrees. And Torrington, you've got mostly sunny skies as well as mystic. I mean, you're hard pressed to find a cloud out there, right? It's just gorgeous. Visibility at a perfect 10. The fog, any fog we had out there this morning has burned off. 
Temperatures are in the mid 50s and uh, they're, they're going to rise today into the mid 70s, if not the upper 70s in parts of inland Connecticut. So there are the numbers. The coolest I can find right now on this particular map is 53 and that's in two locations, Salisbury and in Waterbury. You've got 54 in Torrington and in Putnam, 55 in Willimantic and in Chester. 56 in Danbury, 57 in Meriden, 58 in New Haven, 59 at Brainerd. So we've got all the numbers represented. And we're basically up, with the exception of the shoreline, in Lincoln, Connecticut, we're up anywhere from 10 to 11 degrees better than where we were 24 hours ago. And there's a light wind out there that we'll be picking up today out of the north and west, sustained anywhere from 10 to 15 miles. So that'll be the case today. It'll be breezy, but kids, you will be outside with bright golden sunshine. Temperatures warming up into the low to mid 70s, if not upper 70s in inland Connecticut. The winds will be out of the northwest today, sustained 10 to 15, more of the same for the shoreline. And as you can see from the satellite and radar, the rain has marched on out, increasing amounts of sunshine today as those winds switch to the north and west. And that is according to early morning futurecast, tomorrow's weather today. Again, hard pressed to find a cloud out there. It's going to be spectacular. And then tonight, mostly clear. Uh, we are expecting a little bit of cloud coverage tomorrow. We're going to be on the northern fringe of a system that scoots by to our south. You'll notice how close the rain gets, but by noontime tomorrow, we're just under mostly cloudy skies, and then we get back to the partial sunshine in the afternoon. Temperature trend today, up, up, and away in my beautiful balloon with this golden sunshine. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s in inland Connecticut, just a little bit cooler along the shoreline. Low 70s with abundant sunshine. And then uh, again, sun was up at 538, sets at 757. Your overnight lows tonight, mostly clear to partly cloudy, a little bit cooler. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 40s. And then uh, your seven day forecast. Notice that 41 Tuesday night into Wednesday. You might want to protect those plants, especially the tender vegetation. And then uh, we are talking about improving overnight lows and just some really nice days of weather here for the foreseeable future. There could be a shower around on Friday. We're keeping it optimistically dry. And then Mother's Day night into early Monday morning, very similar to this last night into this morning. That might take place again. But again, we're going optimistically dry at this point. 707, Nicole, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Scott. And thank you for joining us on this May 8th. We hope you have a great Monday and a great start to your work week, your school week, and just enjoy the beautiful weather. Look at here, live in Mystics and people out and about walking. All right, be healthy, stay positive. See you tomorrow.